Hey everyone, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Uh, today we're going to be doing a valve adjustment on this 99XR 70R. Um, I'm also doing a carb uh, clean on this, so um, I have the carb parts dipping in the tank right now. Um, so while that's sitting, I'm going to go ahead and, and start with the valve adjustment. Um, the owner doesn't know when the last time it was done, uh, and honestly, it's probably never been done. So let's go ahead and check out how to do it. Go ahead and pop these caps off. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, you're going to want to do the valve adjustment when the engine is completely cold. So uh, definitely give the bike eight hours or overnight to uh, get back to normal uh, ambient temperature. And this cap usually has oil in it, so don't, don't dump it over, just kind of rest it like so. Okay, we're going to have to remove this cover so we can check for top dead center. Um, I do have another method of checking it, but, you know, let's go by the book and, and remove the cover. Uh, we're going to have to remove the gear shift lever. So there's three bolts that hold that on. All right, so what I did is I took a paint marker and I, I marked uh, some of the marks here that are important. Uh, there's one here at 12 o'clock on the case, and there's a mark with a T on the flywheel. There's also another mark that says F and that's for that's for firing it actually uh, for when the spark fires we're not interested in that one right now what we're interested in is this case and this T okay um, however we couldn't be 180 off so let me let me back the camera up a little bit and then I'll show you what I'm talking about alright so right now I'm at top I'm at the piston is at the top right but I don't know if it's top dead center meaning that both the valves are closed what you're gonna wanna do is come over here and you're going to want to watch the valves. So see right there? This is lined up, but as soon as I move it a little bit, this guy starts to move. So we're not at top dead center. We're, the piston is going to want to come back down and intake valve open. So I want to go 180 more. Okay, so right after the intake valve goes down, the cylinder, the piston's going down, drawing in the fuel air mix. And then as it comes back up, that is top dead center. So see it's closing, piston's coming up, and now we're at top dead center. Okay, so when I come over here and wiggle this, it should be loose. Okay, so that now we know that the piston's at top dead center and you know the rockers are on the base of the cam. So now we can begin to check the, uh, the clearance. All right, so the valve clearance is supposed to be two thousandths plus or minus one. So right here I have a two thou feeler gauge, and this is a junky one. And what I did is I bent it at a 90 degree here so you can get in it easier. You can see you just kind of put it right in between. So this one's a little tight. Definitely a little tight. Okay. All right, so I got my 9 mil wrench on here. You're going to want to loosen the lock nut. All right. I think they make a tool to do this all in one shot, but I don't have that. 
So I'm going to back this hex off, or actually it's a square. I'm going to turn it about a quarter turn, and then tighten the lock nut. Let's see where that puts us. Okay, that's perfect. So I, I got a light drag on my feeler gauge here. Okay, so it's probably like a half to one thou too tight. All right, so here's the exhaust. Same thing. It's just that we're upside down, and now it's a little more difficult to to see. So this one's good. I, I feel a light drag on it. And sometimes what you want to do is you want to see if you can move it up and down. And I can't, so, so this one's good. Okay, we can go ahead and put the cap back on. Okay, put the intake cap back on. Put the cover back on. Followed by the gear shift lever. All right, so that's pretty much it. That wraps up this video. Um, again, check out the carburetor clean video. And since this bike is equipped with a aftermarket air filter, I noticed that it's running kind of lean. It may be just because the carburetor is dirty, um, but chances are we need to uh, do a little rejetting. So uh, you might see a, a jetting video on this bike as well. So. All right, that's it for this bike. Uh, you know, you do a valve adjustment, keep the carb clean and the fresh oil, and these things really last a long time. So, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Thanks for watching.